mother trucking mom in the building all right so you reached out to me you know you back in the truck and everything <laughs> uh you was doing hot shop for a minute though uh yeah but but mother trucking mom i mean you 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 can't make your your mind for shit <laughs> not at all <laughs> So well, what? But thank God for the means to be able to do what the fuck I want to do. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. So, uh, I I guess we'll talk about hot shot and uh later. But right now you got a you got an interesting story to tell. So, uh, you you mentioned Springfield. So, uh, are you with the company that needs to be nameless in Springfield? Yeah, I'm with the cult. <laughs> <laughs> you say you with you say you with the I'm cult. with the cult. You with the cult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what made you out of out of all companies and with your experience, what what made you go with the cult? Uh oh, I think you got I think he frozen up. Wait I say because I know I'll get paid. Oh, you say you know you'll get paid, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't playing by my money. Oh man, but wait a minute! Didn't you have issues with the cult before? The the issue I had was the dispatcher I had, but when I put in my complaint, they switched my dispatcher. Oh, okay, okay. So so now that you got a dispatcher that you and him or you and her is on point, you 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 don't have no problem rolling with him now. No. Okay. We be clicking, but you know, like initially, you know, like I told you before, I always had a plan. Mm -hmm. I still wanted to roll with my plan, even though they switched my dispatcher. I still wanted to stick to the script that I had already, you know, laid out for myself, right. so I could get, you know, so I could see what everything is like, you know, dip my foot in the water and, and decide where I want to go. All right. So, you you made some big changes before you got back with them. You you went out and got your uh your uh cdl instructors what what is it a certificate a license what 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 is it and how did you get it i don't know i think it's just a certificate but i uh, got certified through prime oh you got oh you were cert oh my god i thought you could probably get certified well oh, is is it legit like i know you got certified through through the cult but can you take that certificate <laughs> And go to like a school and 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 be a CDL instructor there. Um, I'm sure you can. What you have to do, I, I don't have a certificate on me, <laughs> but I'm sure you can. But I ain't. I mean, I ain't really thinking about if I'm if I want to do that or not because you know they're gonna make it where you have to go to school anyway. Right. So, right. I mean, they, change, they changing all that February seventh, twenty twenty two. They changing right. all that That's why shit. I've been telling people. Look, I've been telling some of my people. I was like, "Look, I can show you how to pass the test. So you better get with me now." That's why. I, that's <laughs> why I've been telling people. I got people. my daughter on. That's why I got I, my daughter. Shit, she. She she passed the test. Yeah, she passed her. Um, she got her her permit now. I'm about to start o, OTR training her in a minute. Yeah, see, that, that's what people need to do now. They won't be able to get grandfathered in no more. They had to. They they exactly. gotta go. They gotta go February twenty of uh, February seventh, twenty twenty two, man. All right, so you reached out to me to tell me a a, a, a interesting story. So what what's up? What, what talk to? Me? So you know, I started doing training, started doing OTR training. Well, my first student that I had, you know, we have to uh, help them pass the test and actually get them their CDL before we can actually be certified. We have to actually have a student and have them pass the test. Mm -hmm. So um, I finally got finished with her. She passed her test and everything. So I got my second student, All which right, so, already had her. So the first, so the first student, how? Okay, so I, I know the, the 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 training process with the cult has changed since the last time I talked to uh, I talked to a few people. I also talked to Nikki Yost and she, uh, what is it Yost? Yeah, Nikki Yost, and she told me that since then the training process with them now is 
30 uh 30k miles now yeah they dropped they dropped it back down to thirty thousand. okay so how because they moved it up to 50 and it was ridiculously long right so now with 30 with 30k what's what's that in months like two months it's still not be end up being about two and a half two two and a half months or so because it's thirty thousand between the both of y'all Oh. You know, it's not just that student doing it by themselves. Oh, okay, okay. So, being that the both of y'all got to put on, do, do, let me ask you this: do 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 the clock starts when the student get behind the wheel, or when the student get on the truck? When the mile the starts, the clock does. The clock doesn't start until they actually have their actual CDL. Mm -hmm. So if they're a PSD student, that means they're a prime student driver and they don't have their CDL yet. But once they get into TNT and they have their CDL, that's when the miles and the actually start. Okay, so the TNT phase is when the 30,000 miles start. Actually start, yeah. Okay, so how, how, does, the, how does the pay break down for you? Uh, is, it, is the pay variance difference between tnt or i mean and ps what is it, psd or is PSD. it the, or is it the same for both of y'all i mean for uh is it the same for you for both it's not the same for both you really uh while they're in psd you're probably getting only like i think like four hundred dollars but once they get out of psd that's when the when they actually changes where you actually get uh Excuse me, I'm taking my gum out. Mm -hmm. um, that's when you actually get paid uh, for the miles and um, and you get paid, you know, for your runs, you know, the percentage on your runs. Now, but that's when you actually start making money because then y'all are, when you're in TNT, you're actually driving as a team. Okay, okay. Now, as PSD, you only get, is that a flat rate $400 for you? And how long, that's like, how long are they on the truck for P, PS, PSD phase? The PSD phase, it depends on how long you want to, but you don't, you don't want to keep nobody on PSD because you're not really making any money. Okay. You need to hurry up and go ahead and train them and show them what they need to know to pass the test so you can actually start making money. All right. Now, this is on this, this the making money side for, for the trainers. But on the right. train, but on the trainee side, they they're gonna try to stay on the truck a little while longer with you to get that yeah. to get some more to get some more training out of you. You want yeah, me to they'll try. I mean, it's cool if they do, but I mean, not in the PSD phase though, because ain't nobody making no money then, because they only getting like two hundred dollars until they actually get their CDL. So they're not making anything either. So once they get the TNT. That's when they start getting that uh eight hundred dollars a week, or I think they moved to the nine. It's like eight or nine hundred dollars a week. Okay, okay. You know now do now for you is is that a choice that you have to either do TNT or PSD or do or they your fleet manager will come and ask you and be like, hey, we got somebody that's in PSD that needs to be done. Could you do it? It's your choice. Oh, it's initially like your first when you're fir the first time you have to do a PSD because you have to get certified. Oh, okay. So you, in order to be certified, you have to have that person from start, you know, from from start like beginning and show them the ropes. You have to show them the pre trip, the in cab inspections, the uh, backing, and all of that. Oh, okay. So once they, so you have to start from the beginning. So the the first student that you had initially. That, that that successfully went through was the PSD student, right? Right, right. All right, so you so she's TNT and was someone else. Why she didn't TNT with you? Because she didn't want. Because she was uh she didn't want to listen. That, you know oh. she she was too much. Like you know my thing is I would I would have kept her, but she um the thing about driving and certain if you can't listen. Like, I can't trust you with my life going down a, a steep hill if I can't tell you, you know, okay, make sure you shift. And every time I'm saying something, you get an attitude, we good. Mm. I don't got time for that, you know. Do you, but, um, do you think, hold that thought, do you think that even though a lot of females be asking for female trainers, 
Do you think females get along with females as far as training? Um, I think generally no. Um, I I got along with my trainer because we had the same kind of attitude, mm-hmm. like, which was cool because she'll say what she has to say, I got to say what I got to say, and but it was uh we were all, we were both around the same age, but it was like a mutual type of respect. I respect what you do. She respect me as a woman, regardless of whether I'm a student or not. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You don't be disrespectful to that person. Okay. So um, you know. That it's just like if you I mean, to me if you keep the G, it's 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 gonna be all good anyway. All right, but this particular but this particular trainee, you you just hurried up hurried hurried up and just fast tracked her out so out of the PSD phase so you can so you can move on, huh? Yeah, I wanted to move on because she don't know her left from her right and all of that you know and the extra attitude stuff. You know she even got a, a fucking attitude with the damn examiner. Like after he she had failed one part and so he was brought her in to tell her well, you know what she did wrong and so he said something and she got an attitude and thought well what am I supposed I looked over her like bitch shut up <laughs> this is the person you don't get an attitude with you say bitch shut up <laughs> <laughs> bitch shut up yeah like who the who like are you? she not you know like they you know they had asked me like if she had a bad attitude and I was like well it's you know. She has somewhat of that of an attitude, but it's not nothing that I couldn't handle. So it's cool. You got a slight attitude. You say shit back to me. Okay, cool. You know, I know how to let it roll off my back and, you know what I'm saying, deal with it accordingly. That's but the type up. of people, like, she got an attitude with the examiner. Then with the head guy, Steve, <laughs> Steve uh, Casterkey, uh, yes, yeah, name Steve or Stan, Stan, Stan Casterkey. She got an attitude. She kind of got an attitude with him, too. And I was like, oh, my God. You know how you'd be like, and he was like, does she have a bad attitude? I was like, you know, it's so-so. And, you know, but I'm trying to still, you know, keep, you know, because if you have a bad attitude and you're doing this, they're not going to want to keep you like that. You know, so I kind of was trying to, you know, not be like a snitch. Like, yeah, she's got a bad attitude. I don't even know if y'all want to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of, like, well, it's not too much I can't handle. And, you know. But the the type of people you don't need to get an attitude is the head motherfucker and the examiner. Why would you do that? These now 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 that I'm hearing that a lot of these a lot of these so called people that's coming into the industry that's getting that want to get their CDLs, I I kind of I I kind of think of the type of people that Swift is bringing in and the type of problems that they're having. So mm. like. You know, I notice a lot of drivers doing a lot of crazy things, and of course, they, you know, it's, it's, you know, they're swift drivers. I at one point had said that, you know, it was it was the the trainers, but now, mm. but now I'm beginning to think the more that I'm the the more people that I talk to and the more experience that I'm hearing from them. It's the it's the people that they're training that's not paying attention. Yeah, I think it's a combination of both. The problem is now you have a lot of people like uh the the girl that first chick I had, I seen her stop and she started texting. We were walking upstairs, she stopped, oh. she started texting and she didn't move. And wait, I was wait, like, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Y'all in the truck? No, 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 no. We were walking. Oh, we were oh, walking and we were about oh, okay. to go up some stairs. But okay. like she stopped. She completely stopped and got on her phone and started texting somebody. And I said, I started kind of laugh. I said, damn, you can't walk and chew bubble gum. And she was like, uh, no, no, I can't multitask at all. Huh? And I was like, you know, you be, I was like, how the fuck you get through life and can't multitask? Like, how the hell you have kids and can't, <laughs> and you can't multitask? <laughs> like. Please. It kind of it kind of concerned me because the problem is now everybody we are automatic trucks. Mm-hmm. When I came in, you have to shift, look, turn, this. You got to do everything yeah, at multi- one motherfucking ma- time. Yeah, multitask. So you getting people now who are just single minded. Like I told, like tell her, I, she couldn't even like look at the gps and hold the steering wheel i was like what's your next turn she the gps is up there on the thing she's like uh, uh, i was like you can't like that that's fucked up that's crazy to wait me. hold up stop d- d- hold on red flags 
Exactly. Red flags. Red, exactly. red fucking flags. Exactly. You. That's why I was like, why, no, why, I can't why, why, why you want to get into this? Why you want to get into this? And you, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, I. Mm-mm. You can't multitask. You can't you mean, look. You can't look you up can't from look the steering wheel the, to you, see the the, the, the GPS? GPS. Like. You don't even have to move your whole head. You flash your eyes. Like, come on. That mean that's telling me that if you can't if if you can't even glance at the GPS, then what are what are we missing? What are we missing out here when when you actually drive in the red light, exactly. green light, the exactly. sign that tells you that bridge is low up ahead? Exactly. We're we're not exactly. doing we're not doing that. All right, man, exactly. thank you. Exactly. We're we're not doing that. We're exactly. not doing that. If you can't glance, if you can't glance to see what the next turn or whatever, how how are we on the highway when that when that big sign says left lane closed five miles ahead or right mm-hmm. lane closed? What are what are we not what are we not seeing here? No, that's a red flag. You got to go. <laughs> exactly. That's that's. And that's one of those reasons, like I said, she don't listen, she got an attitude, and then you can't multitask. Nah, you gotta like, go. On, in a truck, you have to see everything going on around you. Mm-hmm. You have to know what move that next person is gonna make. You mm-hmm. have to know, you know, you don't have to, you have to at least be able to think ahead. Yeah. And like, it's, you know, it's so many things going around, on that's around why you. you. Gotta be, like, that's, that's, that's why you gotta be, that's, that's why your, that's why your, you, you got you you got to see at least about five six seconds down the way, and if you can't, I told them motherfuckers you need to see fifteen seconds, thirteen to fifteen. Oh like, you God. can't see like from here down there because you, you you can already see. I'm like, do you see the red lights up there? The people are stopped. <laughs> mm. What the fuck? <laughs> if you can't if you can't see but, that, we got yeah. a problem. Yeah. We, yeah. All right, so that well, let that me get the, you get you to my second person. That, that, that was, was the, the first. first one. That, that was the first one. So we got her off. We done. We all right. So we're on to the next one. This is what TNT. Yeah, I got a TNT student. Okay, so, so now so I now we about to get so now we about to get some money. Hold up before mu- hold up before we get to okay. the money. Um, TNT student, right? They they get paid like what eight hundred, four hundred, five. Like, no, it's like, I think it's like eight hundred. All right, so they once get in TNT. So they get paid eight hundred every week, right? Yeah. Okay, so by them getting paid eight hundred every week, I heard through the grapevine that that money goes into your check. Is that true? It don't. It don't go into my check. It comes out of my check. It co- oh, okay. So I. Oh, okay. So how? Yeah, I don't. I don't hand the money to them. It comes out of my check, but it's paid to them. Okay, so how so how 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 do that work, Mother Truck and Mom? I mean, I mean, you is it like okay? Let me let me see if I can if I can put my head around it because like when I take when I go and pay a lumper fee, right? When I go uh-huh. pay the when I go pay a lumper fee, it's like like let's say two hundred dollars. I do a comm check, and what they do, you know, of course, I had to give them the receipt, and what they do, they they put it into my account and then take it back out of my account. Is that how they doing with something with, like that? Is that how yeah. they doing with you guys? They they put the money yeah. into your account and then they'll take yeah. and then they'll take the money out of your account, but give them a separate settlement, a separate check, yeah. a separate check. Okay, okay. Well, really, because when you're a lease operator, you're already getting paid. Uh, you know, you you get your settlement or whatever. But on your settlement, their name will be on there too, and it'll have like because they're like a company driver, mm-hmm. it'll have the Medicare taken out the all their taxes, and it'll have a breakdown and then the amount that they get. Okay, because so, I, but it's taken out. But it's like because they're getting paid from my company, okay. not from Prime. Okay, so let me let me get this let me get this straight. You let me get this straight because I you know I I kind of missed the part that you say you went back to the cult, but you went back <laughs> to the cult as a lease driver. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the way Prime is doing it, Prime is putting all of the money into your into your LLC, you know, quote unquote LLC. 
into your settlement and then just taking their money out of your settlement and giving it to them as as right. if right. as if you're paying them from your company. Right. Oh, that's I don't know what the I don't know how to feel about that one. So they trying to am I'm am I trying to understand is that they trying to make you responsible for that person on your truck? You are. Mm. So you are responsible if you're in the if, if you know if it's under if you're not leasing, but if you're leasing, you are responsible. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a friend girl who was doing the lease program and um well she wasn't doing the lease program she was uh coming on as a a driver and she was in her i don't know she i think she was in her tnt phase mm -hmm. and she got hurt on the truck and so mm -hmm. uh the workers comp was coming out of his check out of his settlement because he was the lease operator wow so it was like your company oh my god okay okay uh is it is it fair to say that uh, that I'll say maybe fifty percent of the lease drivers are also trainers over there versus uh the the company drivers that's over there at uh at the cult. Um, and probably I mean it's probably a lot of them that are lease driver. I mean uh, trainers, mm -hmm. but all of them not training though. Mm. I'm gonna tell you because because you get the experiences like what I got. I'm gonna tell you because I'm gonna. You think this? I got a story for your ass. <laughs> Good. Hey, you know what? Hold on. Let me let me let me go out. Hold on. I tell you what. My next pickup is right down the street. So let me go ahead and go to my next pickup, and we'll pick this up on the phone side. Do I still? Get